Hey everyone, what's going on? Hope you all been doing good. I appreciate all the views and likes uh, from all the Elden Ring videos I've done. Um, it's pretty fun doing that. Um, I have loved the game, but there's a new game coming out that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Lords of the Fallen. I've been looking forward to it pretty much this entire year since I've heard about it. And um, it comes out next week. So i um, really excited to play it. Um, what I did here is uh, I made a lot of uh, assumptions and some speculating, uh, looking at the different classes and guessing what starting levels they would be at and just kind of taking that and running with it, creating a whole class optimization planner. Um, so anyways, uh, go ahead and list out some assumptions. Number one, I'm assuming that the uh, stats for each class that was shown in the uh, character class videos on YouTube um, are correct and that they're not going to change. Uh, the next assumption is that uh, the condemned class will be a level one class. Um, and then the other assumption is that um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, what's it called? The Dark Crusader. Um, I don't have that actually, so I don't know what the stats are. I couldn't find any stats for that build. But anyways, uh, so here you go. Let's see. Based off uh, the Condemned being level 1, what I did is I totaled the total number of uh, points in each stat, so that came out to 54. And then I totaled the rest of the classes on this row right here. Um, and then I subtracted uh, each class from 54, and then I added one uh, because the Condemn is level 1. So basically you're getting the difference from Condemned in point allocations or in the total number of stats. And um, that's how I came up with a guesstimate for the levels. Um, so I have the Warwolf at level 12, Exile T Stalker at 10 um, the black feather ranger at eight so that's probably going to be the second lowest starting class um, and then the the preacher and the cultist hallowed knights at 15 which is the highest level which really makes sense when you look at um, where all the stats are like it's it's got beefier stats than everybody else um, and then the infantry and the partisan are both 12. Um, and so here you can see the average points for each class um, per stat. And once again, you see the Hallowed Knights higher. So that leads me to believe that's going to have a higher level, starting level, than the rest. And you can see the Stalker, uh, I'm sorry, the Ranger is, is the lowest average besides Condemned which makes me believe, once again, it's going to be one of the lowest starting classes. Um, and then I also looked at the allocation of, of points for each class, or each stat. Uh, so it's pretty balanced uh, across the classes on average. Um, and then your Radiance and Inferno, um, really the big outliers are going to be your Preacher and Cultist. So... That's my prediction. It's going to be really um, fun to see when the game comes out, um, how close or how far off this is. Um, that's one of the fun things about doing things ahead of time and doing the analytics. But that's my best guess. The next thing that I have is um, a build calculator that I did. Uh, the nice thing is, is that the logic is all there. So if, even if these stats are different, all I got to do is change these numbers to what they are, truly are. And this still functions, but just, you know, going deeper down the rabbit hole, um, based off these assumptions, I created this and this is, uh, what I came up with. Uh, so, you know, I'll just pick, uh, the Ranger. And you see it loads in the class stats and the level, and then you can you know, type in how many points you want. That's how many levels you would need to get that. And this is what level you would be after that. Um, 
So then let's see. Let's go with a more balanced one. Let's just say the uh, infantry person, or no, not the Hollow Knight. Let's do the infantry. All right, let's do like a uh, a strength build. So we're gonna do forty. Um, let's do sixteen agility. Maybe there's more weapon variety that way. Um, endurance, let's do twenty five, and then vitality, let's do forty, and we'll just keep these two the same. Um, you can see with with this uh, stat allocation that um, these are going to be your optimal optimal classes right here. So the Warwolf, Stalker, Ranger, Infantry, and Partisan, they all um, require those stats. And they're pretty much the same. Um, the Condemned is, is close. Um, matter of fact, if I change you know these to like 9, you'll see that the Condemned is the same now. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> uh, so the Hallow Knight would require one extra point, um, and that is because I'm trying to see which stat is different. Uh, it has that extra point in radiance. So um, if you're not investing in magic. Uh, the, all these classes are pretty much the same when you're talking about like a mid-level potentially end game because we don't know what that's actually going to be. Um, when I was doing all my checks, it looked like 16 was the break point. So once you got the 16 in either strength or agility, pretty much all the classes were the same except for uh, the preacher, the cultist, and the condemned. Um I guess the Hollow Knight wouldn't be either um, if you didn't put a point in Radiance. But I think a lot of people are going to want uh, points in Radiance, uh, especially if it's like your buff kind of spells. Uh, most builds in Dark Souls and Elden Ring have points in Faith uh, for like Regen or some kind of protection. Um, so let's see. Now, if we switched it, let's did, do 16 strength and 40 dex or agility. Um, it, it's pretty much the same. It doesn't change as far as where your classes lie. Um, but if I changed it to 15, now you can see we have other classes start falling off the lower you go. So there you go. And then doing the opposite. We'll start at uh, at 10. So there you only have the Warwolf. And then 11, you still have the Warwolf. 12, you add a Partisan. And that's 16 you have the Exile Stalker as well. So that's that. And then when it comes to Radiance and Inferno, um, like say we do you know, 25 of this. Now all your other classes fall in line, except for the Pirate Cultist and the Condemned. Um, the Condemned will fall in line if you add one more point to Inferno. And then swapping it let's do eight here and we'll do 25 here um the hollow knight doesn't make the cut because of that extra point and radiance but other than that it's pretty much the same as putting your points into um, radiance so i tried not to make this too confusing um hopefully this makes sense um once again completely based off all the assumptions that you know the 
levels are correct that are shown in the videos for the uh, starting classes currently. Um, and then based off the assumption that um, the starting class levels are what I predict them to be. Um, it looks pretty good. Like, like all this makes sense. You know, 12, 15, 10, 11, 8, 10, 12. Because even in Dark Souls and Elden Ring, you had like one particular class that was a little bit higher than everybody else. And you had a couple classes that were really low. And then the rest kind of fell like in the middle. So, yeah. Um, I do plan on uh, uploading videos for my first playthrough on uh, Lords of the Fallen when it comes out next Friday. Um, unfortunately, they're going to have to be in one hour increments because um, I can only record off the PlayStation. And that's the maximum amount of time that's allowed uh, per recording. Uh, and uh, what else? I am planning on starting my first playthrough as Condemned. Uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I did the same thing with uh, Elden Ring. I played as the uh, uh, the level one class. I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but um, it's just fun, like not having anything, and then you get drops from enemies, and you find items, and you you know, are eager to use them because it's you know anything's better than what you have. Um, but my first playthrough, I'm going to try to go through the game fairly quick. Um, I'm going to just do what makes sense, what seems logical. I'm not going to try to discover every secret and unlock every uh, character side quest and all those things. I'm just going to you know, do what feels right um, because I do know based off what everyone's speculating and what's been kind of alluded to that each ending of the game, there's at least three endings. Each one unlocks a new class. I did get the deluxe edition, so I will already have the Hollow Knight. So hopefully the ending that I pick first will not be the one that gets you the Hollow Knight. It'll be like a different class. Um, but anyways, looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think the invasions are going to be great. Um, I like the Covenant, or it's not even Covenants, but you get you know rewards for multiplayer. Um, I, I just I love it all. Um, I love how the PC can play with either PlayStation or Xbox. Um, it's it's going to be really awesome. I, I have very high hopes for this game. I think it's going to be, you know, kind of what... It's going to have all the things that we felt like were lacking in Elden Ring, like Covenant Rewards and um, the uh, uh, Seamless Co-op and Cross-Platform, uh, just to name a few. So... Yeah, and I also love the fact that every piece of armor and weapon and spell that you see an enemy use, you can have some kind of variation of it. That is so cool. I really like that. So yeah, I'm really interested to see how the game actually plays and feels, and I just uh, really can't wait. So thanks for watching. Um, once again, everything's speculation here, so don't don't take anything as the gospel truth. But at least this is better than nothing, right? <laughs> So y'all have a good one, and I will catch y'all next time.